Um, there's lots of popped out nails pretty much in all the corners of the drywall. More nail pops. There's also some creasing here. Nice crack in the wall. But most of the nail pops are in corners. The light works, but the fan does not. The timer does, but no fan. I also lost the microwave. Lightning struck this tree and absolutely blew it apart. And it gets even crazier. Take a little walk with me about 100 yards this way. City crews say the lightning that hit that tree traveled down to the tree's roots, traveled underground to this 20-foot water main here on the corner where it blew apart that water main pipe. It took city crews six hours to fix the 20-foot water main pipe that the strike split from end to end. Homes are finally boarded up. This one alone lost seven windows from that lightning strike. Yeah, this is incredible damage here. You can actually see where the lightning hit this tree and the bolt goes all the way down. There's debris all over the ground in this neighborhood. Be careful as you're walking this way. And you can see here, look at this. The impact was so strong, it actually knocked the window off of this car here, the mirror off the car, and you can see the damage to the garage door. Those windows blasted out. This is the craziest part. When you look down here at the ground, the neighbors say it actually cracked the foundation of their home. Now, the strength of this storm was actually caught on camera. There's one neighbor who has some surveillance cameras set up. They're not pointed at where the lightning struck, but you can actually see the cameras shake from where the bolt and the impact hit. Now, this storm did some pretty remarkable damage. You can see the, it actually knocked out the back windshield of this car. Also, several neighbors' basements windows were knocked out, and neighbors tell me it felt to them like a bomb exploded in their neighborhood. All of a sudden, a big blast in the house shook like an earthquake. In this house, their cables out. In this house, their TVs were blown out. They said they don't have surge protectors. Now, at first glance, everything looks pretty much normal. So you look up here, and you see right up there where the light arced out on the gutters. It's actually a hole in there. Where it burned through. Now here's where you can actually see more damage, where it actually did some real damage. It actually blew the siding off the house right there. You can see where it did some arcing up in there. It pops more out right there. And then look at that. That's all from lightning. You can see it actually melted some of the stuff up in there and burned it. And then you go down, fall down here where it rode the gutter down and blew all that out. And also blew apart their sensor for their garage door opener on both sides. Blew the covers off of them and everything. I'm about to go inside and see what else is done. And the insurance guy told me, he said, a direct hit like what we took. Don't matter if you had a surge protector or not, it didn't blow anything up. It's going to fry it all. But it, it, what was weird though was like some things it didn't burn. Yeah. On the same plug. It is, you did that. All of that facial board up there, you know, that one piece was loose. Now it's all loose. Yeah, I see that. The side, where all of this, was, this was way over here. I pushed it back, so you can see it. it bent that. Oh yeah. Bent it. Just walked it. All these nails come out, and then plug. It's all, it's all burned up. Huh? The other day, I knew a lightning bolt hit the house nearby, not hit the house, hit near the house, because it took out a lot of our electrical stuff inside. So I'm mowing the lawn just now, and I come across this in the ground. Hold on, Mackenzie. And I'm thinking to myself, what in the world could create such ruts in the ground? 
And then I see the bark laying all over the ground. And I'm like, oh, the lightning strike. So look here. Our tree in our backyard took the lightning strike. See, there's where it went to the ground. And it goes all the way. So the lightning bolt actually hit our tree, went all the way down, blew all the bark. Apparently the roots must have gotten so hot that they blew out the dirt. There was even dirt on top of the kid's playhouse, which was sitting over here a minute ago, sitting right there. Yesterday in the evening, uh, we had a bad electrical storm and lightning struck this uh, cupola or whatever you call it. Anyway, it obviously hit the top of the thing and came down It blew out the uh, it looks like it's damaged a little bit of the roof. This whole damage here was caused by debris. Because there's some pretty heavy bricks that got tossed about. Lightning hit a tree in front of the home at 2710 Salisbury. The lightning then traveled through and busted a water line, causing minor water damage to the house. The surge continued to the back of the house, hitting a gas line and causing a fire on the back porch and some charring in the eaves of the house. A lightning strike, it'll travel a, a pretty good distance, and it looks like it traveled about 40 feet from the strike to the back porch. A pile of bricks blown into pieces is all that's left of Chu's Tarman's chimney. It exploded when lightning struck this tree, then hit the roof. Tarman and his family were inside. Oh, blew you out of the bed. I mean, it, it was an explosion. The explosion also blew apart this fence and threw bricks into the roof. Inside, the fireplace screen flew across the living room. Tarman showed us where lightning struck the rafters, leaving a gaping hole. When lightning strikes a building, it can find its way into the highly conductive metal cables and pipes and go where it wants. Electric sparks generated by this Tesla coil behave in the exact same way as a lightning bolt. When it strikes this TV aerial, the electric charge zaps its way into the metal wires through the wall and into the TV. Sometimes it can cause massive damage. A strike to the hot water tank in this house almost flattened it. We see a number of injuries to people indoors every year, some because they're around uh, plumbing that's conducting it through the, the metal pipes, some because they're on their computer, also because people are talking on telephones, and the telephone is not grounded to a sufficient level to keep that instant of lightning from coming in and causing the injury.